dual motors, extreme gearing, or oversized hubs, these electric bicycles use different approaches to the same objective, guarantee breathtaking acceleration and riding speeds beyond 40 miles per hour. Today, we're looking at ridiculously powerful e-bikes. Anioki A9 Pro Max While traditional mountain bike companies go for lighter constructions and more advanced engineering to conquer the steepest hills, the A9 Pro Max wants to achieve the same objective with a stout build and an excess amount of raw power. The robust aluminum frame with 4mm thick walls can withstand higher loads and offers 500 pounds of overall capacity. In its top configuration, the frame houses a 60-volt, 80-amp-hour battery system. It feeds energy to a duo of electric motors with a 5.6 kilowatt rating. Consequently, the bike can reach 46 mph per hour speeds and climb hills with 30-degree inclines, getting loads of grip from chunky 26 by 4.8 inch tires. A9 Pro Max is equipped with a 7-speed gearing system so you can travel for about 80 miles with throttle power or from 114 to 245 miles with pedal assist. Frigo X2 – Latest generation electric motors enabled modern mountain bikes to reach unheard of levels of performance. For example, the newest Frigo X2 utilizes a 3-kilowatt rear hub motor to reach speeds upwards of 50 miles per hour. The massive 6-kilowatt peak power output lets this 121-pound machine climb hills with ease. While the 19 by 2 inch MTB tires provide a sufficient amount of grip, the aluminum alloy frame can withstand loads up to 330 pounds, while the in-frame 60-volt, 30-amp-hour battery pack brings up to 60 miles of riding autonomy. The bike's rugged nature is supported by a full suspension setup, robust hydraulic brakes, and full LED lights to illuminate the trail ahead of you. Luckeep M5 Max If you want a bike that asserts confidence on the road and don't mind handling extra weight, then you should check out motorcycle-style models like the M5 Max. This bike has a bold look with an aluminum alloy frame, inverted front fork and rear coil suspension with adjustability settings, a long bench seat, 20 by 4 inch motorcycle tires, and a round headlight. The M5 Max has just the right amount of power coming from a 1.5 kilowatt hub motor. It ensures speeds up to 37.5 miles per hour, while 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes guarantee swift stopping power. The standard setup has a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery, good for 80 miles of riding. However, the second battery is a paid option. GPB Motor GOAT V3 GOAT Power Bikes is taking the industry by storm and continues selling models with the best price-to-performance ratios. The third iteration of the company's Motor GOAT moped is built on a reinforced aluminum alloy frame with a full suspension system, four-piston disc brakes, and staggered fat tires. The bike weighs 95 pounds, has a seat height of 33 inches, and carries riders up to 450 pounds Performance-wise, you can expect speeds up to 44 miles per hour from a 2-kilowatt rear hub motor. With a 50-amp controller and a 60-volt, 25-amp-hour battery pack, you can cover up to 55 miles on pedal assist and 37 miles on throttle power. Elik Bikes This uprising manufacturer from Ukraine makes two-wheel hybrids of a bicycle and a motorcycle. Their lineup currently has models for deliveries, urban travel, and adventure riding. 
The Light Pro model gets a high-strength steel frame, DNM suspension with compression and rebound adjustments, and a 1 kW hub motor with intelligent pedal assistance. The motor peaks at 2.8 kW, offering a 30 mph top speed. The Positive is the brand's flagship product with a mid-drive layout. It supports a rigid tubular frame and a 3 kW motor. Its peak 7.2 kW output grants speeds up to 55 mph. One full battery charge can last for 60 miles and carry riders up to 330 pounds. Vector Typhoon If you're a fan of enduro-style bikes with pedals, then the Typhoon should be on your watch list. Offering some of the best price-to-spec ratios, it's based on a durable steel frame and keeps the overall weight in the 150-pound range. The massive rear hub motor has three pre-programmed modes, Reverse, Eco, and Boost. The latter unleashes 10 kilowatts of peak power, granting a 50 mph top speed. It supports batteries with a capacity reaching 3.8 kilowatt hours, enabling 120 miles of pedal-free riding. Suitable both for on-road and off-road exploration, the Typhoon gets a custom DNM suspension with 200 mm of travel, four piston disc brakes, and a selection of wheels, 24 or 19-inch front wheels and 17-inch ones in the rear. Victrix Juggernaut FS XD With its new mountain bike, this Canada-based company wanted to double down on motor power and max out all performance upgrades to reach peak off-road prowess. The centerpiece of the Juggernaut is the world's first coaxial drive motor, enabling a 5-level pedal assist with 2.3 kilowatts of support. With an intelligent torque sensor and a 52-volt, 17-amp-hour battery, you can reach 40 mile per hour speeds and cover distances upwards of 45 miles. Suitable for riders up to 265 pounds, the Juggernaut features a premium suspension by RockShox, quad piston brakes with 220 mm rotors, an SRAM 11 drivetrain, 2000 lumen headlights, a neat control display, and a thumb throttle when you get tired of pedaling. Stealth Electric Bikes is one of the first companies that took up the challenge of creating high-performance electrified mountain bikes. Even though the brand's lineup has much more powerful models in terms of top speed and acceleration, the F37 offers a great balance between power and riding agility. This bike weighs 108 pounds and is based on a sturdily chromoly steel frame that also dubs as a housing for the 48-volt, 30-amp-hour battery pack with a 1.5 kilowatt-hour capacity. The installed battery pack will reportedly provide up to 37 miles of pedal-free riding. The battery power is being supplied to a brushless DC hub motor that put out 2 kilowatts of continuous power and 37 kilowatts of peak power. The motor's torque reading is at 88 pound-feet and the maximum speed that this setup is capable of providing is 37 miles per hour. The bike's serious off-road capabilities are backed up by a full suspension system with 7 inches of rear-wheel travel and 7 inches of inverted double crown fork travel. Unlike many modern electric mountain bikes that feature a small 250-watt electric motor that gives you only an electrified pedal assist, Nairica Mega goes all-in with 1,500 watts of power on board. It's understandable why the competitors are going for less potent powertrains. They just want to keep the weight low. However, Nairica Mega is using a completely different approach to cutting weight. It features a lightweight carbon fiber frame that accounts for just 4.4 pounds out of the bike's 70-pound total weight. The aforementioned electric motor can be matched to an 840-watt-hour battery pack good for up to 52 miles of riding. In order to be competitive in the EMTB class, 
the model received a full suspension system with 140 millimeters of travel, hydraulic disc brakes with ABS, and oversized 26 by 4 inch knobby tires. Narika Mega is offered in two frame sizes, the standard 18 inch and a 20 inch one for the comfort of taller riders. Besides the frame size, you can also choose between four distinct color options, standard or upgraded braking rotors, 480 or 840 watt hour battery pack, and default or upgraded control display. Finally, the company has announced crowdfunding for the production of a new, more powerful model called the Spectre X. Already crowned as the brand's fastest bike to date, the Spectre X uses a design approach similar to its predecessors, features a carbon fiber frame, and a potent mid-drive motor unit. Combined with a 60-volt 21-amp-hour battery, this motor generates 6 kilowatts of peak output, resulting in 50 mile-per-hour speeds. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates, and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time!